<laughs> well, there we go. Oh, greetings and salutations. My name is Tish, and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, I am going to be creating a Dutch pour using the colors inspired by the Minnesota Vikings, purple and gold. So if you're new to our channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are looking for an art, oh, what am I trying to say here? An art outlet <laughs> and a community that'll support you, you've come to the right place. So, oh, sorry guys, I'm kind of uh, winded. <laughs> Traffic was a pain. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here until my favorite people start arriving, not that anybody else hasn't arrived yet, I am grateful for all of you that watch, even those that hide in the shadows. Yes, sorry, wild game is going to <laughs> I'm gonna turn off my notifications for my phone. I literally got home 15 minutes ago. And had to come up with something different because uh, Michaels did not have my white. I ordered white on their online ordering. I did it the right way. I was a good girl. Followed the rules. And they screwed me. So here I am thinking, okay, what can I do here? So, and then I ran out of flow trial yesterday. So I had to stop at Home Depot and get flow trial. So, oh, gotta give it a shake. Probably got shook up enough on the way here. But because there's a lot of stopping and starting and stopping and starting and stopping and starting. And when you drive a manual, that's kind of yucky. So we're going to strain the flow trawl because it was cold back in there. And I don't know. See, it's really thick. Holy Hannah. So we're just going to let this strain. I don't know if there's going to be chunks. There shouldn't be. But I don't want to take any chances. So now that that's done, I do it all at the same time. Whoop. And I need a little cup. Well, I have a little cup over here. It's a little dirty, but it'll work because I don't want to have it drip all over my table. So sorry if that noise that annoys you. <laughs> kind of caught me off guard. I didn't realize I was going to make that kind of noise, but we're going to go with it. Okay, so flow trawl, lid. It's right on said lid that this is flow trawl. I had a marker. I had a marker. It was purple and it is gone. Oh, well. Okay, scale. Oh, here's my marker. Ha -ha. I put it away in the wrong place. Typical of Tish. I'm just going to stuff it somewhere. Okay. So for a Dutch pour, we need a little bit more fluid of paint. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these up. But I'm going to mix them at my standard rate. And then we'll put them in a separate cup and make them a little bit more fluid. So you're like, well, all paint is fluid. But that's not what I mean. So normally I mix... I didn't have, I don't have my normal artist lap flow acrylic white. So we're going to have to use um, the titanium white that I have here. So I usually do these four to one. So let's do, oh, or not four to one, two to one. So let's do, Um, there is 16 ounces and put the lid on that because these blooming fruit flies, they have been the bane of my existence forever. Hello, Dina. Ta-da, Dina is here. And hello, Miss Elisa. <laughs> I'm making sure that I say Elisa. 
I've been practicing. Can you tell? <laughs> so why did I do that much? There's not that much. Oh, wait, there is. There will be because i got to put eight ounces of paint in here. So let's tear this out real quick. And we're going to put eight ounces of paint in here. I'm just going to squeeze the whole blooming tube in here. Wow. There's more than eight ounces in here. Sweet. That's good to know. All right. We'll grab a stick here. <laughs> well, I don't want to mess up your name anymore. Because I don't mean to. And I, I, I don't like it when people call me by the wrong name. And I've got to be respectful. So... And I don't have my hair up, which is really weird, because I went and got it cut today. So now I got like probably three or four inches cut off because it was all scraggly and sad. So it's now like shoulder length. So it's still long, but so I can put it in the ponytail, but. And these fruit flies, I tell you what, I cleaned my kitchen and now they're invading my studio. And I know there's nothing in here that they're going to want except for paint. So I set up my little fan last night, so I'm going to have to set it up again tonight. All right. This is, see how thick this is? See how it just kind of gloops off the, off the stick here. Hang on, I got There we go. Oh, I turned my chat back on. There we go. Okay. Hello, Miss Doris. And there's Jay. Jay, I thought you were making supper. Okay, so I'm trying to show you without really. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to call start naming them. There's more than the beetles in here. Okay, so it's really thick. And see how you see. Let me see if I can get it to show you. It kind of makes a mound when it, it makes like a mound when it comes off the stick and there's a clump. So it's really thick. And if you put your stick in it and it stands up, it's really thick. So that's two, two parts flow trawl to one part paint. So for the Dutch pour, I am going to add one more part of Floetrol to this. So we're going to get a little cup here. We're going to move our Christmas or I put the Christmas ornament up there so I'd remember to so I'd remember to take care of it and then I got busy doing other stuff and then I forgot. I'm here in protest only be, because they are by Queen's colors. Hey, I love purple, and gold is one of my favorite metallics. So, yeah. Okay. Since we already have, let me see if my math is going to be right here. Since we're already doing two to one. And so we'll do... Now my brain doesn't want to work. <laughs> um, I used to remember how to do this. If it's two to one already and I do one part premix and one part flow trawl, that'll be right if I remember correctly. So we're going to do six ounces of paint. close enough I'm not really a football fan to be honest with you but I cheer for the Vikings when they're playing you know because you know I'm from Minnesota so kind of got to do it it's kind of in my blood my dad was a huge Vikings fan every Sunday you could find him in front of a TV drinking beer and 
having a good old time watching his Vikings play. Okay, so there's that. And then here's the Floetrol. So we're going to do six ounces of Floetrol. Because I want this to be really thin. And if it's still not, we'll add a little bit of water. And if it's still, if it's too thin, then we'll add a little bit more paint. We're going to see how this works. Okay, so let's stir this up. Stir, not fold. Jeez, dish. Interesting game tonight. Packers and Vikings are so close in their standings. Yep. I didn't even know they were playing until this weekend. <laughs> and, you know, the Viking Packer games are always good to watch. They're always good for entertainment. There, that's a little bit more thin, but we're going to actually add a little bit of water to this. And, of course, there it is. I was going to say, of course, I lost my, my mystery bottle. Yeah, that should be good. I'm going to lose that shelf right there. Packers sad Vikings. Yeah. If I remember correctly, Doris, you you root for another football team because you're from the East Coast. Hello, Amber. Greetings. Ta-da, Amber is here. Ravens. See, I remember. I remember certain weird things like that. All right. Now. Now we're doing better. You want almost zero trace with this. So what I mean by trace, I'll show you again here as soon as I mix this in. I suppose I could just pour it in. I don't have to mist it in. See, I don't even know the standings of any any teams. I don't even know. I just watch the Vikings game because it's on, and I'm a fan, you know. I'm not a fair weather fan. I'll root for them if they win. I'll root for them if they lose. It's, I, you know. Same with the Wild. The Wild honestly suck this year. But we're beating the Flames. Dun, 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 We're beating the Flames. That's all that matters. Oh, I wish I could flash freeze my apartment and get rid of these flies. Okay. I think I can show you now. Make sure we get the bottom. That's always the hardest part for me is getting the bottom. Okay. So you see how it dissolves almost immediately back into the paint? Let me see if I can get this to show. See how it almost instantaneously disappears? That's what we want. It could be even a little bit more thin, but this is what we want for the background, okay? <clears throat> now, let's see. We're gonna do two to one with this violet. I don't think, have I used this? Yes. Okay, so let's go four ounces. Probably gonna have to strain out some more Floetrol. Let's go four ounces. And see what we can get out of here. Oh, there's plenty of paint in here. So there's two. Let's do another two ounces of Floetrol. There we go. And another ounce of paint. There we go. Get, there's still a little bit in there too yet. I'll mix off the remainder later. 
Okay, stick. <laughs> Did we win? I didn't get to see the last end, the ending score. Yay, go wild. And you know what I forgot to get when I was at the dollar store today? I forgot to get my little shot cup. Shot cups. Burr. Had to buy another. What, uh, Doris, what pillow paint are you using today? Or are you using what brand? Because I hope I got the right one. <clears throat> If I didn't, I'm I'm painting I'm painting my my shelves for my my drying racks today or to my, to tomorrow, and I'm going to be going live throughout the day tomorrow. I'm going to be making lasagna, and in between the lasagna making process, um, I am going to go live and do some fun projects. I don't know what yet. Because I have like 14 different ones that I want to do. Maybe I'll just keep it live for a couple hours and just go from various thing to various thing. Color place from Walmart. But which one? There's like six of them. <laughs> I got the, I got a little quart of the white. And then I got a big gallon size of the black. The flat black. Because I'm going to experiment with that as the pillow paint. See if that... use some neon colors and some metallics and just play around because I can. Okay, so let me grab a little cup to put a little of this in. And I left my bottles downstairs because I could only carry up so much because it's three flights of stairs and two gallons of Floetrol and a gallon of paint plus another gallon of whatever else that I had. Oh, so it's been an interesting, say the, it's been interesting to say the least. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so we're just going to put a little bit in here because the rest of this I'm going to keep um, like fluid that I would normally use. Oh, you'll miss what? There's always replay. That'll be great, Doris. Thank you. I don't know. I got I I just got whatever was the cheapest. I think I paid like six dollars for the quart and like twelve dollars for the gallon. Broke my heart, but they didn't have any white in the gallon. None. Zero. I'm like, what is this? A paint shortage? A national paint shortage? We'll go for seven. <laughs> Replay isn't this fun. Sorry. Well, I'll go live at 630 still. Just I'll probably do one in the afternoon too. Oh, Elisa, while I have you here, I have to ask you a question. I was at Hobby Lobby today, meandering the, the, um, the aisles. As I, because I, I had to kill some time, because I couldn't get in to get a haircut until 4:15. I'm like, it only takes 15 minutes to give me a haircut. What are you doing? But um, they had a lot of colors today, apparently. But I got this stuff. I got it with my. It's uh. I can't even read it. It's upside down. What? No, it's supposed to go for five? What? You make no sense. Okay. So this 
it probably isn't as easy to see, but you can see it sink back in really quickly. So, and I forgot to turn the auto white balance off. I'm sorry, guys. This auto stuff is kind of becoming the bane of my existence. Okay, so there's that. And then we need to do some more flow trials. So let's get our singing bob out. Oh, dude, it's going to be purple or blue or whatever color that is. Mm. Oh, well. Let's see what I do with it. See, I already got a fly in my paint. Dude. Ha ha. Should have gone. Okay, as soon as this live is over, I'm going to go grab my fan. Because I sleep with my... I, I'm weird. I sleep with my window open and I'm cold. And I sleep... But I get warm because I sleep with a heating pad on my shoulder for the first couple of hours till it shuts off. And... And then... But I get too hot, but the heat on my shoulder feels good, <laughs> or on my back. I say shoulder because it's like that, that vertebrae right between your shoulders. But um, I set up the fan to move the air around from outside, so that way I'm like perfectly comfortable. <clears throat> yeah, there's a question in there. I got to get this done real quick, and then I'll grab it. Hold on. Okay. I gotta stay focused. Okay. It's called Casting Craft Opaque Pigment. I got it for seven, eight bucks, but I got the 40% coupon. So it says for casting resin and clear casting epoxy. So they sell this same stuff on the, I think, on the uh, stone coat side website there we go i'm not allowed to kill time at hobby lobby <laughs> i'm allowed i make my own money <laughs> oh i got paint on my keyboard how long, how long did that take me four days <laughs> my mouse i understand because i get paint all over but there's paint on my keyboard okay so let's get this out of the way um i'm gonna put you right here but I wanted to, I have a whole bunch of like different crafts and stuff that I want to do um, over the weekend. So I went and grabbed some stuff, some stuff at Hobby Lobby. And I was good about Michael's because I was like literally in and out of there. But I ordered the big bottles of full acrylic and of course they didn't have it. Hey, now I got to take my boots off. See, I didn't even take my boots off yet. My feet were getting warm. There we go. Oh, much better. Much more comfy. Okay. Well, I thought I would get black because I use black a lot. So if it works well, then I can get like pretty much all the colors at Hobby Lobby. And then if I like it, I will buy it from Stone Cold to you know support a smaller business so but i don't know how i don't know how much how they are a smaller business now if they're being managed by this other company or if they got completely bought out by this other company i don't know what the details are okay so let's go eight ounces flow trial okay that's like yeah. Mm -hmm. Wipe the edge off because we're going to put the lid on it so we don't end up with buggies in it. Because this, oh, we got one more after that, after this. And then we've got the metallic purple, which I have a bottle for somewhere. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I've got fingernails and I can't get this. It just, do you ever get that? Where <laughs> you peel off the foil and it leaves the plastic behind? 
Like, come on already. Hang on. Getting my my knife here. But I am gonna do some blooms tomorrow, I think. And play around with that experiment. So eight and four. Because I think I can get four out of here. That's the bottle, not me. Okay, I need my scraper dealing. I just bought this bottle and it's already done. No, don't go there. Okay. There we go. Four ounces. I'm going to have to buy another bottle. But I got, they were buy one, get one 50% off. And then they had the coupon for 20% off even sale items. So I got another little bit off. And I just bought the ones that I absolutely needed. I didn't buy the ones I wanted. <laughs> I'm kind of steering away from the artist loft, it seems like, though. Well, Amber, take care of yourself. If doctors say you need to do something, you know, probably should do it. Hope you're feeling better, hon. Be sending you healing energies. Love you. You can use that with the oils and resin. It'd be perfect. I was going to ask what Blair sent you. And if she didn't send you white paste, then go for the cast. No, she didn't send me white paste. She sent me some eye candy, uh, which of bobbers. I can't think of what it's called. Micas. Stone Coat was bought out, and that company now owns many resin companies. Paste from the epoxy resin so are very similar to cast and craft, is my guess. I see them too. I'm going to try that. I got, I ordered from them. I'm going to try out that resin if I like it. And it's not, it doesn't give me a headache. Then I'm probably going to, probably still going to order both. Because I like that other resin that you were using. <clears throat> now the resin that, I like the other resin that you were using because you could scale it out by weight. That's what I like about it. That's what I don't like about Stone Coat is I don't have weight measurements. I, I have a, a very slight astigmatism. Not, it's slight enough where they don't actually give me corrective lenses for it. And so um, li lines are very difficult for me. And spatial, like spatial, I actually do better when it's like, okay, that far from the, from the lip of the container or something. I can do that better than I can lines because the lines seem like they're slanted. So, <laughs> I think mine, I haven't gotten mine either. I think we ordered it on the same day, and I don't know where they're based out of. But there's, there's a, a, a Micah company, or I think it's Micah, that's out of Minnesota here. They're actually in Minneapolis. So I'm going to look them up again. Can't remember who they Can't remember the name of them, but I bookmarked their site. So once I find it, I'll post it to the group. I'm looking for my bottle that I had the purple metallic in, and now I'm not finding it. And now I organize these, and it's not in the spot that it's supposed to be in. Oh, you know what? I moved a bunch of bottles. Where did I move them to? No. Oh, well. We'll just leave it in the container. I'll put some press and seal on the top. I need two more of these. Three more of these. Let's grab three. And I won't need to mix this because I do have a little bit at the bottom of this. So we'll just use that little bit. So... I'm going to pour a little bit in here. Mm -mm. 
to get the glad rare glad wrap. They're in California. Okay. Are they? <laughs> should not assume. Are they in California or Canada? Because C A is Canada too. Oh, I get so confused sometimes. I'm assuming California. So I might get mine. No, you get yours before you get my. I get yours because you're in Colorado. I keep thinking you're on the East Coast. Yeah, your doctors are pretty much full of shit. <laughs> Jay, I say that with all the love of my heart. But. Okay, so there's the purple. Let's add some. Okay. I mean, you saw me missed it seven times, and it gave me maybe a, a teaspoon of water. I'm trying to remember the name of that co company because I want to email them and say, hey, look, I'm from Minnesota. Can I just do a will call order and just not have you ship it because it would probably save me money just to drive down there and it'd be an adventure and I could do a little video on it. Y'all get to see the inside of my Scion. I love my car. I love my car except for in rush hour. Rush hour kind of sucks. Oh, needs a little bit more water. <laughs> well, a lot of YouTubers are from Canada, too. Eh? <laughs> and I'm closer to Canada than I am to California. <laughs> I sincerely can get to Winnipeg. In like six hours. I've never been there. I want to go there. It's supposed to be really pretty. Okay. So there's that. Let's see what we got left in this. We might have to mix them up. I don't know. But this is the 24 karat. I got this deco art. Americana Decor Metallics. This is bright metallic paint. It's in the 24 karat gold. And this, to me, produce it for me. Produces the same cells and cool reaction as the 24 karat gold that's in the little bottle. I paid five bucks for this. Less than five. Well, it was like five and change with Minnesota tax and everything. So, and these are like $10 at Michael's. So I got 50% off coupon. So it's eight fluid ounces. So I saved a little bit of money. Let's see what we can get out of this thing. Could not not watch. Okay, Amber. Well, you just lay there and relax and just... Listen to the sound of my voice. Goodness knows Jason's fallen asleep on me more than one occasion. I'll be sitting there talking and all of a sudden I hear, oh my dude. Okay, there we go. Had to get a little, oh, this will be fine. This will be just enough. I could have done this in a little shot cup cup, but I didn't want to use those yet because I'm going to use those for my blossoms tomorrow. Because I'm going to play around. And I'll probably just play around live after, but I'm going, okay, so Miss Doris, my neighbor, <clears throat> is going live on her channel to celebrate her one year anniversary. And she's doing a giveaway of a lovely resin artwork piece. And she's going live at on her channel at noon central time. So it would be 1 o'clock Eastern, 11 Mountain, and 10 a.m. Pacific. And if you're from the U.K. or Australia, sorry, 
can't do that kind of math. It would be um, 7 p.m. over in the UK, I think. 7 or 8. Somewhere in there. Let's just say 6 so that way you're early and you can set a reminder. <laughs> there we go. That's just a wee little bit of paint in there. But it'll be enough for this. So. And then we're going to do, I can get the scale out of the way. And I can get this out of the way and put this over here. I say get it out of the way, and then I'm like looking around for spots to put stuff. <laughs> we'll get these out of the way. Because my table behind me is full of paintings from last night. Because I haven't put them away yet. All right, and we're going to put this over here. Wait. Mm -mm. I gotta remember to wash that. So I gotta put it on the floor behind me. Not so close that I'll step on it, but far enough away. <laughs> close enough where I'll see it, but far enough away where I won't step on it. There we go. Okay, Floetrol is in the far corner. There we go. So we've got, we've got gold, we've got metallic purple, we've got this dark purple, and now we're gonna do this yellow ochre. Netherlands is seven hours ahead of it. Okay. I think the Netherlands is considered still part of like England, not, not considered part of it, but in the same time zone. Um, as like London and all that. Paris. I am going over there. I am going to go over there. I'm going to rent a vehicle and just drive all around the countryside. I realize it's an island. Either that or I'll just take the train everywhere. That way I get to see the countryside and not have to actually drive. I don't know. All right, put that back where it goes. And let's check this. This is two to one. But this is also artist loft. So this should this is actually thin enough. I'm finding that the master's touch I can go three to one on some of the colors. Like this one, it's still really thick. So I might actually end up adding more. Oh, you know what? Huh? Oh, Tish, you're a hoot. I don't have a canvas. Hang on. So, <laughs> we're going to have to use a big canvas because that's all I got upstairs. My other canvases are still downstairs in my car. In my little XD. Australia, well, I know, I know South Australia, where Andy is from, is 15 and a half hours ahead of Central Time. How they get the half, I don't understand, but I'm just going to go with it. That's, it's really confusing because it's like they're 12 hours plus another three hours. So it's like, okay, so it's 7 a.m. So it's 10 a.m. in Australia right now. 10.30 a.m. It's like, good Lord, that's confusing. Yeah, typing errors can can be can be fun, <laughs> especially at 3 a.m. Okay, so there's that. This is a 11 or 16 by 20 canvas, and it's laying flat because my board is flat. Yay me! All right, let's make sure there's no bugs in here. This actually could stand to have a little bit more water in it. I'll get my big squirt gun out. Oh, it's empty. 
Ah, <sighs> okay. There. You know, it's hard to remember. <laughs> Fifteen and a half. It's it's hard to remember, except for. It's so weird that you can't help but remember it. It's like 15 and a half hours. Where did they come up with that? Who came up with that number? So I want to go, the part of the reason why I want to go online is I have, I have people over overseas that um, would watch a live or some videos. I'm going to start editing videos, too. I've just been really lazy about it. Okay. This is still really thick. I'm just going to dump some water in there. Because I'm tired of pumping. The fuck's that character the painting? Yeah. Their character until they run across the whole bottom edge of a painting. Or their little carcass is, you know, I gotta pluck it out with a pair of tweezers and give them a proper burial. <laughs> you know. Okay. I think we're almost good. We're going to do puddles. We're going to just kind of layer the colors. So first, we're going to put a little bit of this on the background. Hopefully, this is enough. Because we don't need to put much down. There we go. Should be good. Actually, I can put some of this back, I think. I don't need too much. Just enough to cam cover the canvas. I was this close to buying a Ryobi trim router. Okay, that got some kind of something right there. So, see, I don't know if that's paint or if that's a bug. It's a bug. That's a bubble. <laughs> but I left all my smaller canvases downstairs in the car because I was going to have to make two trips. And then I realized what time it was, and I'm like, okay, I got to get ready for my live. And then I forgot to go back down and get my canvases and all my bottles. But I did bring the, I made sure that the paint got brought up, but I had to bring garbage out again. So, yeah. And then I'm on the third floor. Next week, I'm going to go do laundry. So I don't want to overdo myself, you know. Because that's, I, I put all my, okay, I'm not lazy. I'm inventive. But what on earth? Um, I put all my dirty clothes in a big Samsonite suitcase because it has wheels. And then I can just wheel it down, do my laundry, wipe it out with my little Clorox wipes, put the clean clothes in there after it dries. Not always do I wipe it out, but, you know, depends on how long I wait between loads. Okay, that should be good. Now I need a paper towel.
I saw your new tray. That's fancy. A little too fancy for me. Because <laughs> I'd probably break the tray. Okay, let's do... Let's do three puddles. Do one here. One here. And one here. Now we're going to do the purple on this one. Face. I don't want a little bit haywire. That's okay. Here, oh, I knew I was going to drip. Let's finish off this gold. There's not very much left. And this one will put, <clears throat> nope, I dribbled. That's okay. I'm going to put a little bit of this dark purple in, in the center one of this. Just to kind of bring it out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to torch this a little bit, and then I'm going to put the white around it, and then we're going to blow it out. I don't know how this is going to work with titanium white because I've never used this. I'm going to get some of the bare spots here while I'm here with the cup. Okay, I'll leave a little in the bottom. Cover that gold up. Okay. Let's move these out of the way. Let's just flip this over the top of this. It has a little bit of gold in it. That's okay by me. $22 at Amazon. Everybody shops on Amazon. Why am I just, I'm like out of the loop. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying. I found some stuff I want to get. I just have other things I need to get that I can get, get local. Okay. Drink a soda. Praying to the paint gods. All right. We're going to start it off in the 
We're going to assume the position. So if you're listening with earbuds, here's your final countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. I just got to find my straw. That's typical. I just got paint on my elbow.
Sorry for my hat hair. <laughs> I don't have it in a ponytail. Okay, I need to move this a little bit so I can blow. Okay, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. Let's go this way. But I need to fix this because that's going to bother me. So tip it a little bit that way. God oh, dang it. At least I got it. I keep getting it in the white. So there's that. like that better. Oh, I need a hair binder, but I don't have one. I don't have one in my studio. All right, hang on. Make sure I don't get my boob in there. I already got it on the edge. Dude, I got a hair in there. There we go. There. That adds some layer to that. This is getting kind of muted. Let's see. one more time.
there. I like that better. Let's see. Oh, dang it. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I'm going to torch this and be good. All right, Mr. Fly, you're getting awfully close. There's another hair. <laughs> Note to self keep binders in the studio. But it was a really nice day today. I didn't even, I just wore my stocking cap and a sweatshirt. That's all I was wearing today. My little CC beanie hat. It was awesome. Put a little bit right here. I know, I said I'm going to torch it and be done. But I just, I did one Dutch pour a while back before I really kind of got the hang of it. And... There were so many divots in the paint that it was like, it made me cry because it was a cool painting, but it's just so many divots. So many divots. And I don't want to tilt this one. Chris would probably shun me. <laughs> you didn't tilt. You didn't tilt. You had the perfect opportunity to tilt and you didn't tilt. But that's okay. He'll still love me. Okay, that looks good to me. I don't see any real problems. Okay. This over here is still kind of bothering me, but I think this will all just kind of mellow out. Because there's a lot of Floetrol in this paint. So, as long as I get it halfway there we'll be good good evening kate
Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Ta-da! Angelique is here. Hey, better late than never, I always say. I was born two weeks late and I've been trying to catch up ever since. Okay, I'm swiping the I'm wiping, I'm fanning freaking flies away. I cleaned my kitchen, like scrubbed it and pissed them all off. <laughs> so yeah. All right. So instead of trying to lift this up, I'm gonna try and bring y'all down. So if I wiggle, I'm sorry. Okay. You can see my big mess, messy computer area. Okay, slow. I'm moving, so if you get motion sickness, close your eyes. Okay, so I'm trying to find the happy medium here. I'm trying to hold the cord out of the paint because the cord is, yeah. So left-hand corner. I wish you could see the metallic in this as, as well as I can. Okay, somewhat, there's some right there. And that's like, it looks gray on the, on camera, but that's actually purple, like a really light pastel purple. Okay, hang on. Ooh, sorry, guys. I had to pull the cord out from behind my monitor. Okay. There we go. The cells are really cool. That's why I like this gold. Oh, I almost had to go swat a fly. I have to go grab my fan. So even if you aren't a Vikings fan, you can appreciate the color scheme. And I can't reach any further over, so we gotta bring it, bring it around down. I love that splooge, it's like splooge, but in a cool way. It's a cool splooge, not a bad splooge. And that right there. Brings us to the bottom right. So, I'm going to bring it around town. I wish I could get rid of that light for y'all, but I kind of need it. I'm going to work on that lighting tomorrow. Let's get you back up here. Sorry for the wiggles, guys. And gals, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. I'm really sad that the circus is like not a thing anymore. I'm really sad about that, just so you know. Because I was always telling my dad I'm going to run away and join the circus. <laughs> okay, I don't think I have that exactly in the same spot it was. There we go. Now it is. Ta da! You see horns on one of them. Leave it to Doris to see horns. <laughs> All right. That is my Vikings inspired pour. I'm hoping some cells come out of here, but I think this is the one that had the gold on the top, so I don't know what's going to happen. Um, it's anyone's guess. It's acrylic pouring. No one really knows what's going to happen. <laughs> you can, I, and I try to explain this to people that don't think acrylic pouring is art. They're like, oh, mighty three-year-old can do that. I'm like, you know, I'd like to see a three-year-old try it because they'd probably be better at it than you. But I say you got to know the, you know, there's science behind it. There's color theory because you can't just put red, blue, and green on here and expect to get, you know, something that's not a muddled mess. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just partial. But, uh, I don't know. 
it's still pretty and I like it. So, and I love doing it. It helps me relax. It helps me calm down. I've met a ton and ton and ton of people. Fun fact, my second cousin was a lion tamer. Wow. Lion roaring bottom left. Can't wait. If I find any bugs in this tomorrow, I am going to cry. And there's no crying on Christmas. All right. I don't see it. Where's <laughs> someone put if you're in the group? Oh, yeah. Hey, if you're new to our channel, we do have a Facebook group. If you go to our Facebook page at H at the Artist Haven um, on Facebook, it'll lead you to our group. And there we post paintings and hints and trips and tips, tricks and oh. Boy, I've been awake too long. <laughs> oh, we post hints and tricks and moral support. And I promote everybody's business because everybody here is an artist and everybody has their own take on things and everybody has their own way of doing things. And no one has the same way of doing, you know, what we do. So we may have the same mix and we may have the same canvases. But the way we put our heart and soul into it is different for each and every artist. I don't care who you are. So, yes, Merry Christmas or appropriate holiday to you too, Miss Tina. <laughs> oh. Anyway, if you uh, want to join our group, Please join in. We have our little tribe up there, up there, over there, in there, whatever. Um, if you like this video, smash that like button. And if you are an artist and you've enjoyed this evening's broadcast, please, if you want to find your tribe, hit subscribe. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. It just popped into my head. Anywho. A uh, blessed Christmas to you all, um, or whatever appropriate holiday it is for you. Um, Yule has passed. I think we're still in, no, I think today's the last, or yesterday was the last day of Hanukkah. I can't remember. I think yesterday was, or Saturday. I don't remember. Oh, it's hard to keep them all straight, because the only day that's important to me <laughs> is my birthday. And we're going to go live each and every day until my birthday. So you can look for me approximately live tomorrow, 3.30 central time approximately. And, but for sure at 6.30 PM, oh, excuse me, tomorrow's Tuesday, but it's Christmas Eve. So I'm gonna do 6.30 PM. So um, for our Tish Talk, which we'll probably do story, Christmas stories or holiday stories or just things to just talk about and become, you know, just, just talk. So, and I'm going to do some cool art. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but it's not, it might not be an acrylic pour because I'm not, I'm not sure yet. But I, I want to let you guys know that I am extremely, extraordinarily, supremely grateful that you took time out of your day to share it with me. Thanks for joining me. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs>